cylindrical OD grind and have on again off again waviness issues. Sometimes we can spark out for half a second and get almost no waviness. Sometimes we have to spark out five minutes and still we get waviness on the part. Why is this? Why is it always changing this way? When you do cylindrical grinding, your grinding wheel is not going to be perfectly true. It's not going to be perfectly balanced. It's going to be a little egg shaped. Uh, things are going to bounce around a little bit. So you're not going to get a perfectly round workpiece on that first spark out pass, let's say. That's okay. That's normal. I mean, obviously we want to reduce um, imbalance. We want to reduce any type of eccentricity. But even if we have a very well-balanced wheel and a very non-eccentric wheel or a very true wheel, we're still going to get some kind of waviness going around that part. So there's the, what the part might look like, a bit exaggerated, after the first revolution. Now, take your wheel speed or your wheel RPM, divide it by your workpiece RPM. If you get a value that's an integer, let's say 8.0 in this case, what's going to happen is the grinding wheel is going to go around the workpiece one time and create eight lobes or eight waves on the workpiece. Now, if you have a true integer value, 8.00000, the second time the wheel goes around, it's going to start in the exact same position that it did the first time, and it's going to repeat that waviness pattern for pass number two. Then it's going to repeat it in pass number three, and then it's going to repeat it in pass number four. Your final workpiece might look something like this. Now, one solution is to say, okay, well, let's not choose an integer value. Let's choose 8.5. So you do that. The wheel makes eight revolutions. And the ratio is half. So it makes half a revolution. And then it continues on during the second revolution. Then we have the third revolution. It picks up where the first revolution uh, left off. We have the fourth revolution picking up where the second revolution left off. So what we have is a workpiece with the 0.5 value, and we get a workpiece that looks something like this. A little bit better, but still not good. The best option is to take your wheel RPM divided by your workpiece RPM and choose an irrational value, a, a value that does, cannot be represented as a fraction. So in this case, something like 8.7265349, blah, 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 goes on and on, so that whenever the wheel comes around again, it never starts in the same place. And the wheel, which is imperfectly shaped, somewhat eccentric, maybe a little bit of imbalance, obliterates all the previous waves. And what you're left with is a workpiece that looks something like that. So it's very simple. Take your wheel RPM, divide by your workpiece RPM, and just make sure that it's not an integer, worst of all, or make sure it doesn't have some kind of fractional value, something close to a third or a half or a quarter or three quarters. Have it something irrational like 17.1969834.2. And if you do this, what I've seen is I've seen cylindrical grinding operations with a very imbalanced wheel, a very out of true wheel, spark out enough and just get a very nice round workpiece. I've seen grinding wheels that were reasonably true, uh, reasonably well balanced, but still had those waving issues, waviness issues just because they had an integer value. Now, I'm not saying you should grind with an imbalanced wheel. But whatever you grind with, make sure you have an irrational value and not an integer value and not a fractional value. And what you'll find is you won't really need to spark out that long because you'll just be obliterating all those previous waves on the workpiece.